In this video, we'll uncover the most terrifying moments astronauts have faced in space. Some narrowly escaped with their lives. But did they all? In April 1970, Apollo 13 lifted off with great ambition. The mission aimed to be NASA's third manned flight to the moon, with astronauts Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert on board. Spirits were high as the crew began their journey. But just 56 hours into the flight, disaster struck. During a routine procedure to stir the spacecraft's oxygen tanks, one of them exploded, severely damaging the command module. With power systems failing and life support crippled, the mission changed from lunar exploration to a fight for survival 200,000 miles from Earth. Okay, we've had a problem here. These now famous words mark the beginning of a harrowing six-day ordeal. The crew was forced to abandon the command module and rely on the lunar module as a lifeboat. However, the module was never intended to sustain three astronauts for such an extended period. As oxygen levels dropped and carbon dioxide levels rose, the situation became critical. NASA's engineers on the ground worked tirelessly, guiding the crew to construct an improvised air filter using duct tape, plastic bags, and other onboard materials. It was a feat of ingenuity that bought them precious time. As the spacecraft approached Earth, the tension reached its peak. The heat shield, damaged by the explosion, was a major concern. Would it hold during re-entry? Against all odds, Apollo 13 splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean. The crew returned as heroes, and their story remains a testament to human resilience and the brilliance of teamwork. In 2013, Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano set out for a routine spacewalk outside the International Space Station. As he worked methodically on the spacecraft, occasionally glancing back to take in the breathtaking view of Earth below, a silent danger began to unfold. Only minutes into the procedure, something went terribly wrong. A leak in his spacesuit's cooling system caused water to pool inside his helmet. I feel a lot of water on the back of my head, but I don't think it leaked from my back. At first, it was a minor inconvenience. But as the leak continued, the water began to cover his eyes, nose, and mouth. Unable to see or breathe properly, Parmitano would soon essentially be drowning. In the vacuum of space, water behaves differently. It clings to surfaces, forming a film over his face and making it even harder to catch his breath. This unusual behavior of water in microgravity made the situation much more terrifying. With no way to remove his helmet, Parmitano had to find his way back to the airlock, completely blind and relying on his memory. Every step was a race against time. The water continued to build up, and his breathing became more labored with each passing second. To make matters worse, Parmitano had to navigate back to the airlock alone. His spacewalk partner, Chris Cassidy, remained outside to finish securing equipment, leaving Luca to find his way back blind and disoriented. As he made his way, the sun set, plunging him into darkness and making an already dire situation even more dangerous. As he reached the airlock, the tension didn't ease. Even once inside, his life wasn't safe until the helmet was removed. Inside the ISS, his crewmates worked frantically to help him. The moment they finally managed to take off his helmet, nearly a liter of water spilled out, soaking everything around him. His colleagues rushed to dry him off, shaken by how close Parmitano had come to suffocating. Tragedy had been avoided narrowly. Luca's experience led to significant redesigns in NASA's spacesuit systems, ensuring no astronaut would face such a nightmare again. On September 26, 1983, Cosmonauts Vladimir Titov and Gennady Strekolov prepared for liftoff aboard the Soyuz T-10-1. As the countdown began, everything seemed normal. But just seconds before liftoff, disaster struck. A fuel leak on the launch pad caused a massive fire to break out, quickly engulfing the base of the rocket. The flames spread rapidly, 
feeding on the rocket's fuel reserves and creating an intense heat that began to threaten the integrity of the entire structure. Trapped in the capsule atop the fully fueled rocket, cosmonauts Titov and Strekolov could do nothing but wait, knowing they were mere moments from disaster. Heat began to seep into the capsule, accompanied by the roaring sound of the flames. Fortunately, the emergency escape system activated in the nick of time. The Soyuz capsule was catapulted over a kilometer away from the Inferno, just seconds before the rocket exploded in a massive fireball. The capsule reached speeds of over 400 miles per hour before deploying its parachutes and landing safely in a nearby field. Titov and Strekolov were shaken but unharmed. This incident remains one of the most dramatic and successful uses of an emergency abort system in space history. It's a stark reminder of how even the best laid plans can go catastrophically wrong in an instant. In 1966, astronauts Neil Armstrong and David Scott embarked on the Gemini 8 mission, which aimed to achieve the first ever docking of two spacecraft in orbit. The docking was a success, marking a major milestone in space exploration. However, the celebration was short-lived. Shortly after docking, the spacecraft began to roll unexpectedly. What started as a minor oscillation quickly escalated into a violent spin. Unbeknownst to the crew, a stuck thruster was firing continuously, causing the Gemini capsule to rotate faster and faster. The astronauts soon found themselves spinning at a dizzying rate of one revolution per second, exposing them to extreme G-forces, pushing them to the brink of unconsciousness. Believing the Agena vehicle was the source of the issue, Armstrong made the decision to undock, expecting the situation to stabilize. Instead, the spinning worsened. The Gemini spacecraft spun even faster, revealing the fault lay within their own spacecraft. The rotation accelerated dangerously, leaving them with little time to act. While fighting against the extreme G-forces, Armstrong, known for his calm under pressure, switched to the emergency re-entry control system and carefully fired the thrusters to counteract the spin. After a tense struggle, the capsule finally stabilized, but at the cost of depleting critical fuel reserves. With the mission compromised, NASA ordered an immediate abort. Armstrong and Scott safely splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, where they were recovered by a Navy vessel. The Gemini 8 incident was a sobering reminder of the unpredictability of spaceflight. Armstrong's response under extreme conditions would later reinforce his reputation as one of NASA's most capable astronauts, a skill set that would serve him well during future missions, including his historic Apollo 11 moon landing. Before continuing with the video, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who has joined the Astro Knowledge Discord server. If you're not in yet, you're missing out. In the server, you can chat directly with me and other space enthusiasts, share your video suggestions, get instant notifications when new videos drop, and so much more. Oh, and here's something really cool. There's a rank up system where you earn XP just by chatting. The more you interact, the higher your rank, and higher ranks come with better perks. Here's a look at the current leaderboard for the top 10 chatters. Think you've got what it takes to climb to the top? Join the community and start earning your spot today. The link will be in the description. Back to the video. In 1965, Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov became the first human to step into the vacuum of space. His spacewalk, lasting just over 12 minutes, was a historic moment for humanity. But this triumph came dangerously close to ending in disaster. As Leonov floated outside the Voskhod 2 spacecraft, marveling at the view of Earth, he noticed something alarming. His spacesuit was swelling in the vacuum of space. The suit became rigid, making movement increasingly difficult. When he tried to return to the airlock, he found it impossible to fit through. Every second outside increased the risk of overheating and oxygen depletion. To make matters worse, the sun was setting, and darkness was beginning to envelop the spacecraft, now also limiting visibility. Leonov made a risky decision. He manually vented air from his suit reducing the pressure just enough to squeeze through the airlock. This maneuver saved his life, but left him dangerously close to decompression sickness, a potentially fatal condition caused by rapid pressure changes. 
Leonov's courage and quick thinking paved the way for future spacewalks. But his story remains one of the most harrowing moments in space history.